because I am playing my own game always, it would be a mistake to underestimate me. It would be a waste of time to try and stop me. And those efforts would most likely go unacknowledged because my commitment is to the power, the undeniable power and truth of the infinite self. And if I let something outside of me dictate my life, they may dictate my circumstances, but if I let it dictate my life, then I am putting it on the level of the infinite self. And something tells me that that would be blasphemous. Something tells me that that would be like a really painful uh, choice to try and come back from. And so I, I am probably more practiced than most of the people you know. Mm -hmm. When people say, oh, Tina, you're so this or you're so that and you're, uh -uh. what I am is practiced. What I am is really good at pulling myself out of the distraction, out of the fear, out of the pain, coming back and remembering that I am more and then daring to be even more fully alive. Use that thing right there. As painful as it is, as surprising as it is, use that thing right there to be more fully alive. Be in your own game. Because literally, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Because I'm not just, I'm not trying to get across the finish line that's on that field. That's, that's the theater of it all. People in the stands, the people who are watching, they think that I'm running to get across the line that's painted on the field. No, I'm running to truly walk in this body as the thriving infinite self, understanding and using consciously and purposefully my relationship with the surviving self. That's that's the game I'm in. Do you really think that this cosmic construction called life that we can't possibly totally understand? I mean, you know, it's so big, we know about that much of what it really is. Do you really think that all of this is so that I can come here and be involved in some sort of mean girl, fear-based behavior, relationship, point of view or perspective. Ernest Holmes has a quote that I just love. It said, faith is the most important thing there is and you cannot get to the grandeur of its possibility through petty thinking and small-mindedness. So if I'm over here engaged with whatever it is you're throwing out or engaged with my own trigger to the point that I'm trying to uh, assuage my discomfort by attacking, blaming, protecting, you know, out here, that's a petty way to move through this amazing cosmic experience. What I think you said something like, you know, um, of course you want these acknowledgement, you know, and the acknowledgement um, in essence of others. And I will say that that it is right there in award season, you know, or right there as a, uh, uh, an entertainer or a person who is in the position to be awarded or apl applauded, that it is right in that arena where practicing the notion of being in it and not of it, desiring but not attached. 
I make all the room in the world to, uh, to I, I work to be worthy of all kinds of awards. I work, I mean, meaning I bring to my work a level of intention, a level of commitment that I hope is worthy of being awarded and I am not attached to being awarded. I don't need you to see me if I am seeing myself clearly. And if I am seeing myself clearly, then, and, and I don't receive an award, that's a very rational conversation that I get to have with myself. If there's five people and I'm not one of the ones awarded, okay, there's, there's four of us. It's really nice to be here. But if I'm so attached to getting an award that my sense of myself is lost when I am not awarded, then I say not being awarded is a very good thing because it is time for all of us to invest and pour into ourselves to such a degree that no one can steal your sense of yourself. That's the work. And then that way you can show up fully, you know, guns blazing in a level of excellence that is awardable. But if life doesn't shake out that way, I am not lessened in any way.